We go about our normal lives, but however, in reality, we get this so-called reality check that tells us, Hey you, did you know that this world is falling apart? And many people get it from various ways, including running across a YouTube video of a woman breastfeeding a cat. On the bright side, we do have a ton of stuff happening, and they're happening in a positive light. Since its release, everybody has been hyper-obsessive with Overwatch. I do want to avoid the word saying over because the title of the game is Overwatch, and if I were to say that people are obsessed over Overwatch, that would be the most goofiest sentence ever. I don't even give a shit. It would come out as fucking awkward as ever. I'd say I take a break from video games and start talking about anime because summertime is coming, meaning Summer Anime 2016. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have to figure out what's going on. And however, I gotta get this off my back because the E3's just right around the corner, and like I said, I was gonna do E3 videos on my hypotheses. You know what, I'll just say fucking hypothesis, to be honest with you. I just gotta do a hypothesis on E3 2016, uh, watch the E3 press conference... I mean, talk about my impressions with the E3 press conference, even think about what's the best of show over at E3. I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening going on at E3. And however, I can sit around here and wish that I was at E3 all I want, but however, considering the $1,000 fee, this is something made for the press. When it comes to E3 as a tradition, Customers are not welcome to this convention. You have to be associated with someone in the industry. That means you have to be associated with a publisher, someone of the press, you have to be a journalist, any profession that the industry has. If you're a customer, then you could fuck right off. Unless you're Mick Jagger Nuggets, who gets lucky because, yes, he has a famous YouTube channel. And speaking of McJuggernuggets, I highly doubt he'll make it to E3 this time. However, I highly do doubt that he will make it to VidCon. As a matter of fact, he's probably busy getting greased up and fucked in the ass by Psycho Dad, while his aunt Melissa tag teams with the strap on, getting ready to fucking penetrate his mouth. So it's basically off camera, it's Psycho Family Eiffel Tower. So, I'm sorry, Juggies. He may not make it. But however, if this series is fake then there is a possibility that his dad, his mom, and McJuggernuggets himself sit together chilling in the living room thinking of things to do in the next video and probably ideas for another Psycho video. Whether it's real or fake is up to you two factions, so you can go ahead and start killing each other, I don't care. The topic of this video is anime that's coming up this summer. So, we're gonna go ahead and stick to what this video is about. For the source, we have Anime News Network because there's a lot of us that have not been fluent in the writing and speaking of Japanese. Anime News Network was very kind enough to pretty much put in a little section to give you a list of upcoming animes and already recently released animes. And of course... What's up? What's going on? Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Um, thanks for the news. I regret to inform you that right now is not the time to go through the upcoming anime of summer. As a matter of fact, if we wait till later, like somewhere after E3, we will be able to talk about upcoming anime with more information. I have also been informed by Anime News Network, the site itself, that Show by Rock Short will not come next month, but will come in July. And I know a lot of you guys have been thinking it, but Show by Rock Short is not the second season. The second season is still coming soon. This is basically the spin-off series. This again, thanks to Anime News Network. And I've also came to a realization that people are saying OAVs more often than OVAs. My sincerest of apologies for the inconvenience. Should have saved the smart-ass comments for later. Now on to the bad news that I have been recently told. 
news on Bikini Warriors has been dark. The last piece of news that we have received was news regarding the revealing of the EX Paladin figurine, but that was way back in March. Fast forward to now, and I think it's time for us to start playing Michael Pachter-sama. To be honest with you, when it comes to anime discussions... I do seem to do that a lot, so I'm pretty much used to playing Michael Pachter-sama. I predict that in between the release of the Mage EX figurine and, of course, the release of the Paladin EX figurine, we could get more news stories related to Bikini Warriors. Being honest with you, the reason why is probably because Hobby Japan is, like, currently occupied with the distributing of the Mage EX figurine. I mean, they're trying to get as much copies of the figurine done as soon as possible so that way they can release it to the shelves while at the same time making sure that everyone who pre-ordered the Mage EX figurine gets their Mage EX figurine they pre-ordered. That, and they've also recently revealed Cinderella to the roster of Queen's Blade Grimoire. And then speaking of Queen's Blade Grimoire, that second episode of the OAV is coming up. Basically, Hobby Japan is basically multitasking with both Bikini Warriors and Queen's Blade Grimoire. That's all we're able to figure out in regards to the absence of Bikini Warriors news. Be sure to stay tuned in this channel for more anime stuff, more video game stuff, and in speaking of video game stuff, E3 stuff like I said. Hopefully after E3, Funimation and Crunchyroll will have their simulcast schedules. If so, we'll pretty much go over them together. Until then, if we have to, we'll talk about mortality again. Shout out to Anime News Network, very useful site. And that is all, and I will see you in the next video.